a side-to-side -side VPN on a Cisco router in less than 5 minutes. Yes, it is possible to show you how to create a basic side-to-side -side VPN in less than 5 minutes. I will assume that you have a very good idea about some basics when it comes to routers and switches. It means you know how to configure an IP address, you know what an access list is, you know how to create a static route on a Cisco device. It would be nice for you to understand some basics when it comes to network security like encryption, hashing, key, key exchange and so on. Well, anyway, I want to show you how you can create a VPN tunnel in less than 5 minutes. You ready? So here is our topology. We have R1 and R2 and here is our ISP. We want to create a secure tunnel between these two routers R1 and R2. It means that I have my private network 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 and I want to access this private network 192.168.1.0. I will need a side-to-side -side VPN tunnel to make this happen. When it comes to IPsec, because this is what we're going to use to create our tunnel, you have to memorize that we have two phases when it comes to IPsec. Phase 1 and phase 2. It is beyond our discussion to talk in detail about these phases, but this is what you have to memorize when it comes to IPsec and Ike phases that we're going to configure. The easiest way to create a side-to-side -side VPN tunnel is to use Notepad and a template. So here you can see literally 14 lines to configure a side-to-side -side VPN on a Cisco device and you can find a link in the description that uh, you can use to download this template if you want to try it at home, for instance using Packet Tracer, Genest3 or real Cisco devices. So we start with Ike phase 1. Do you remember the first phase? And here is something that is called a crypto policy. We want to specify what we are going to use to negotiate this phase. For encryption, we're going to use AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, Pressured Key, it means, well, in a way it's a password, and Defi Hellman Group 5, this is for key exchange. Then, well, I need to authenticate you, yeah, because I want to make sure that you are who you say you are. So here we specify our key, in this case it's Cisco, Pressured Key, and our destination IP address, peer IP address 2221, so this guy over here, because I am a 1, and here it is 1111 because I am going to reach this router, this interface. Then I have to specify protocols I want to use for Ike Phase 2. Th this is Ike Phase 2, it's actual traffic that we're going to use, it means files everything that we want to send from R1 to R2 and here I am going to use AES and SHA. Again, I assume that you know what AES and SHA are. If not, well, I will try and uh, record an additional lecture. Okay, so ne the next step is interesting traffic. In my opinion, this is the most important step and I have seen a lot of issues when it comes to this step. So Please try and focus because this is something that can go wrong. Interesting traffic means an access list. So source and destination of our private IP addresses. So on R1 we want to we want to send a message from 10.10.10.0 and we want to get to 192.168.1.0. On R2 our source is 192.168.1.0 and the destination is 10.10.10.0. 10, 10, the last step is to create a crypto map. It means, let's put it all together. We specify again our peer IP address, our Ike phase 2 policy that is called a transform set, and we match our access list. Finally, we have to apply this access list, sorry, this crypto map. Well, it is similar to an access list, okay? Do you remember? Because when you create an access list, it's not enough, you have to apply it. 
apply it. The same applies to our crypto map. We have to apply it here. In my case, it is F00 over here. And on this guy, it is F01. Believe it or not, but this is all you have to do to configure a side-to-side -side VPN. So now let's connect to R1 and R2, paste everything and see if it works. I am connected. Uh, a few show commands to make sure that we are okay with everything. Show IP interface brief. We can see F00 is our public IP address 1111. And yes, as you can see, I am using a loopback interface to simulate my local area network, which is 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 and this IP address is .1. Okay, ISP, nothing, nothing special here. Show IP interface brief. Yes, so we can see 00 and 01, as you can see over here. And there is no routing enabled on this guy. Yeah, this router has no idea how to get to this IP address because I don't want to enable NAT on R1 and R2. So this is the easiest way to simulate. Oh, ISP has no idea how to get there. Here, when it comes to routing, show IP root, you can see I have a default root only. I say go to F00. When it comes to R2, the same show IP interface brief. My public IP address, private IP address, and show IP root. Oh, there is no root here. Okay, let's fix it. Huh? It's always good to check it. F01. Okay. I always say when things go wrong, I keep recording. This is what I love to do because then you learn how to troubleshoot. Okay. So on R1, I go to conf T and I'm going to paste everything that you saw two minutes ago. Here we go. Now R2. That's it. On R1, we want to say, I want to ping 192.168.1.1. It means this IP address, this loopback interface that is behind R2. And I want to use my source IP address of loopback zero. This is extremely important because do you remember our interesting traffic? This is source and destination. You cannot really start a VPN tunnel by pinging from R1 directly. You have to ping from this local area network and this is the easiest way to simulate it. Let's try. It might fail because it takes a moment to create the site to site tunnel. Okay. Show Crypto Isacamp SA, this is what you, we want. Well, it's still no state, so it means it doesn't allow it set up. Oh, here we go, okay. So it was pretty slow. Show Crypto Isacamp SA verifies our Ike phase one. Do you remember the first phase? You want to see QM either. It's beyond our discussion to discuss everything else, but now I should be able to ping. Yeah, it was enough to be patient. Just one more command, show Crypto IPsec SA to verify Ike phase two. I will record a couple of additional videos to show you how to troubleshoot VPNs. We'll talk about phase one and phase two in detail over there here. Yes, as I said, five minutes to create a side-to-side -side VPN tunnel. If you like this video, please share and make sure you subscribe for more really cool videos in the near future.